I used to practice playing guitar for, you know, four or five, sometimes six hours a day when I was like, you know, 14, 15, 16 years old. As a teen, rock and roll was his identity. For Dez, fame became his goal, thinking success was all he needed. I had pinned all my hopes on this thing. When you're, you know, 15 years old and looking for something to hang your hat on, it seems so real. And I thought that that's the key. That's the key to being happy in life. You really didn't know who inside you really were. Didn't have a clue. Didn't, I mean, I... That's why the, the extremity, as far as the outward goes, you know, it, it's like, well, I'm a, I'm a guitar player. Dickerson got his big break auditioning for Prince in 1978. And what happened? Everything that I wanted to, <laughs> it was like, yeah, you know, now, now I'm, I'm somebody. I'm getting some. I have a tangible proof that, that all these years that I've been spending doing this are worthwhile and I am worthwhile. Among the most notorious bands of the decade, Prince and the Revolution garnered a host of gold, platinum, and double platinum albums, in addition to several Grammys. But despite their popularity, Dickerson was becoming disillusioned with the band's image. The act was increasingly centered around sexual things, and, and blatantly sexual things, and, and oftentimes things that were just patently designed to shock people and nothing more. I mean, on the one hand, it's, it's, it's fun. But um, there's the reality of, of these kids and, and what we're saying and what we're doing. And all of a sudden, I mean, it's like we were, we were rock stars. What I'd always wanted to be, I was, you know. But at the same time, there was this, there was this incredible turmoil because it was not making me happy. And the more it didn't make me happy, the more I was thinking, why isn't this making me happy? During this time of intense questioning, Des found himself watching a television program off stage. Sometimes on the road, myself and a couple of the other guys in the band would, would on those long days off where you don't have anything to do, we, we'd just watch cable TV and, and many, many times we'd watch the 700 Club. And it was through the 700 Club, Des Dickerson, then lead guitarist for one of the hottest pop bands going, began to learn about a happiness he once thought could only be found in music. When you're in that turmoil, peace is something you want, but you have no frame of reference, you know, you have no idea what peace is, much less how you're going to get it. So it was just, it, it was kind of a bridge for me, I think. It helped to uh, kind of challenge my thinking and get me to a point where, where God could have an impact on me. Then, after months of searching, Des finally prayed to receive Jesus Christ as his Savior. It was a very simple thing. I just remember, um, you know, verbally just uh, asking Jesus to come into my life and asking God to have his way. And just that I was, I was tired of being at odds. While staying with the band another two years, Des eventually left to pursue his solo career. Now a record producer, he wants kids to know that who they are in Jesus is all they'll ever need. That he is their identity. God accepts you. You have that acceptance already. You have what they want. And, and they can't get it. I don't care how many big lighters they see light up in, in how many stadiums around the world. That's nothing compared to the acceptance that you can, can grasp and walk in and know right now. Look, I was there, you know. You have a witness. You have a living, breathing witness. And I can tell you that what you have in Christ Jesus is the real thing. You know, Des Dickerson has got the answer, ladies and gentlemen.